Do you ever feel uncertain about yourself, about your abilities, that if there is a problem, you might not be able to solve it or that you're the odd one out? If you do, if you have this fear, this inner voice inside of you telling that you're not good enough, it's something you have to work with. And this voice wouldn't shut up if you just stand in front of a mirror and tell yourself that you got this, you're better than you think. This voice wouldn't shut up if you try to make yourself look confident in front of others. That's why this narcissist that be like... I think I'm maybe not a 10, let's not go that far, but <laughs> like definitely an 8. Per. I think I'm fucking gorgeous, Don't. I think I'm perfect. Listen, are actually not confident. They try to hide their fear doped in their character behind the mask. They may say what they want, but they're still uncertain about their body, about their reputation. A confident person is not the one that hides the fear or tries to avoid it, but it's the one that defeats it. I'm going to quote Socrates. Be as you want to be seen. The only way to defeat this fear, this inner voice, is to become the one that you want to be. Defeat it in a battle. Go into the cave of your mind. Do not run away. Do not sit there with your ears closed like a baby. But actually, pay attention. Ask, what is there so bad about me? What do I hate in myself? And when a voice gives you an answer, do not run away from it. Instead, analyze and take it. This is a part of you. This voice, this fear is a part of you. You should not just shut it up, but you actually have to listen to it. It may give some valuable information of where you have to improve. Maybe you feel that you don't look good. This fad that drags you down, this double chin that drags away your confidence. Go on exercise. Look as you want to be seen. That's why people who have good physique that go to the gym are generously more confident in themselves. They no longer have this inner voice that tells them that they look hella goofy. Though still, there is always room for improvement. It also proves that you can. It proves that you're capable of making a change. It is challenging, but isn't it also difficult to be scared to talk to others or feel uncertain about yourself? Improve your mindset, improve your body, cut off the bad habits. Maybe they are the ones that drag you down. Confident person is the one that knows that no matter what, he'll be able to resolve the problem he faces. So do not get addicted or rely on something because if somehow it goes away from you, your ability to control yourself will perish. That's why many boys after a breakup, especially teenagers, can feel unconfident or not sure in themselves. It is because you feel that you are not worth that person, that you are too bad. Analyze this voice, analyze these uncertainties and try to defeat them by improving yourself. It is not the end, it is just the start. The game ends when a king falls, not when a pawn takes your queen. So defeat your fears, do not just sit and hide them. If your car breaks, no matter how hard you hide it, it won't start. You have to repair it. Subscribe if you enjoyed and see you in 7 days. Bye.